On this channel, we love swapping Digimon partners. But something I've wanted to explore for a while now is what if the Digimon Adventure Zero 2 kids could swap Jogress or DNA Digivolution partners? This is a lot more tricky than my conventional swaps, though, because like them or love them, Hyaldramon, Sylphimon, and <sighs> Shakuamon are all clearly intentional fusions of their two champions, with intended and thought out design elements stemming from said champions. As such, very few ultimate level Digimon exist that would even come remotely close to working as alternate DNA Digivolutions for our mixed up pairs. But luckily the Digimon community is filled with some of the most talented artists I have ever seen on the internet. And so on today's video, let's make some brand new Adventure Zero 2 Jogresses. What is up everybody, welcome back to another video. If you're one of this percentage of people that isn't subscribed already, change that right now or I'll cry. <laughs> <laughs> And hey, this video isn't sponsored per se, but I wanted to say before we get started that I am a gamer subs partner. Because I'm an epic gamer, you guys know this, you see me on Twitch. And they haven't paid me anything, but they did send me an absolutely insane amount of product, including the new Grenada Grape and the amazing Black Cherry Mon, I mean cherry flavor, which I have mixed together and I'm addicted to right now. And as a partner, whenever you use my link in the description and my exclusive code, time after time, yes, they let me use that. You directly support this channel, which helps us pay for more artists to do fun videos like this. And I'm always trying to get you a kickback. So for the first four hours that this video is live, if you go and use my link and my code time after time, you can get 20% off any order on GamersUp. If you're waiting for an opportunity to try it out, trying to get a waifu cup or some new flavors, try and kick your addiction to full sugar energy drinks, I would highly recommend these. I may be a partner, but I'm only a partner because I actually really like the drinks. So yeah, use my link and my code for that 20% off and support this channel. Thanks! Okay, so the DNA Digivolution partners that I have swapped for this video are as follows. TK and Davis, their somewhat one-sided at times rivalry I think would be really interesting. And there is another factor that I will discuss later on when it comes to their particular DNA Digivolution. I've always thought the TK and Davis friendship echoing Matt and Ty's in many ways was super interesting. And on like a super basic level, I just want to see what a dragon angel fusion's gonna look like. <laughs> then I've gone with Kari and Ken as a result. My main motivation here was, well, because I already chose TK and Davis, but also because Ken and Kari both have a connection to the Dark Ocean, as well as notable older brothers, shall we say? Though of course TK does too, I know. I know many people would have liked to have seen TK and Kari for this, but don't worry, I love supporting our artists, so we can always do this again with a different combination. Plus, for right now, combining two angelic Digimons is just a little bit boring. And then that leaves us with Cody and Yo Lee, because they're really good friends, and I really don't see the gender thing being an issue here, particularly given I believe both of their partners present as male. It always disappointed me that in certain parts of Zero Two, more wasn't made of their friendship, given they were friends before Zero Two started. And while I understand the Jogress in Zero Two comes somewhat from the initial friction or oddity of the pairing, I'm glad to be able to explore this idea now. So let's begin with Cody and Yo Lee. They would of course be Ankylamon and Aquilamon DNA Digivolving, and I got HLR Art to design this. As a side note, do you know how hard I had to resist using Butenmon for this? A big armored samurai bird, like I could have so easily put the Hyokamon line in another video, but I resisted because I respect you all. You sit on a throne of lies. Anyway, the initial springboard idea I gave HLR was the bird gargoyle seen on the Cathedral of Notre Dame. I thought the idea of a gargoyle being explored outside of Gargoylemon would be interesting, and learning how common gargoyles resembling birds are, I thought Aquilamon encased in rocks and spikes might be a good place to start. Expanding from my bird gargoyle idea, HLR did some research into some general gargoyle stuff, chiefly that in pop culture they can be seen as demonic vessels, this idea being introduced by a short story called The Horn of Vapula. Papula being a demon that is a fallen angel who teaches humans about philosophy, mechanics, and science, and his seal even has a heart in it. So right there we have a ton of things that really fall into the Cody Yoli wheelhouse of their crests of knowledge and love in particular. As such, combining Vapula with the general gargoyle idea inspired HLR to draw Vapulamon to be an angel or demon breaking forth from the stone made up of Ankylamon's armor. With these huge horns 
and of course the red wings of Aquilamon. I love this design and because of the more demonic influence, it really does feel like a fun flip on the concept of Shakuamon and even Sylphimon to a degree. Next up is our Gatomon and Stingmon DNA Digivolution, who I commissioned Capney to draw. For this, I definitely had way less to bring to the table as combining a cat with a big bug man is a little difficult. What I initially gave Capney was the concept of the Dark Ocean being the connection between Kari and Ken, and I thought a funny pun would be caterpillars. Cat a pillars, get it? Yeah, don't worry, I think it's stupid too. Well, maybe it is stupid, but it's also dumb. But Capney from there suggested the idea of a moth or sea butterfly. Butterfly imagery, of course, being hugely important to Digimon Adventure in particular, and the idea was born. Capney had the idea to take the stripes and body of Gatomon and the rest of Stingmon to make a sort of soldier Digimon, which I thought was a great idea, and Capney took direct inspiration from the Oleander Hawk Moth, aka the Green Army Moth. And after a few tweaks, Daphnismon was born. I chose the name Daphnismon because it comes from the Latin name for the green army moth, Daphnis Neri. But also a cool other meaning of Daphnis comes from the Sicilian shepherd Daphnis of Greek mythology who invented pastoral poetry, a type of poetry about withdrawing from your modern life and regressing to something simple in the countryside. Or in the case of Ken and Kari, leaving your normal humdrum life in Japan and going on a huge adventure in the digital world, or a potential bleak life in the dark ocean. Some things I love here are the detailed wings and bulletproof vest, as well as Gatomon stripes making up the camo pattern on its trousers, but more noticeably in the body and ears slash antenna. I also requested Capney take the stingers and claws of Stingmon and upgrade them for Daphnismon, and so that manifested as the left arm having a sniper mount and barrel, and a curved blade on the right arm. Also a particular note I love is that its utility belt has the digicode for war. What is it good for? emblazoned on the buckle. I can definitely see Daphnismon working as a kind of SAS soldier counterpart to the marines of the D Brigade. Also as a fun aside, while this is specifically based on the Oleander Hawk Moth, the general species Hawk Moth often has another name, the Sphinx Moth, which given Gatomon also becomes Nefertimon in Zero Two, yeah, I like that coincidence quite a lot. This was the Jogress I was most uncertain would work, but I actually really love it. And finally, for Davis and TK's DNA Digivolution, of XVmon and Angemon, I have chosen this super sick design by artist Daisuke Motomiya, Mega Dancermon, aka Ultra Angemon. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Prank you, idiot. You just got pranked, bro. No, this of course is the childish idea Davis had for a Vmon evolution when he found out Patamon could become Angemon, but it was a huge motivator in me pairing up Davis and TK. Even the artist who drew the actual DNA Digivolution idea dry couldn't resist the joke either. So for the actual idea of the X Vmon and Angemon DNA Digivolution, I personally was inspired by the Summon Bahamut from the Final Fantasy franchise, specifically its Aeon design in Final Fantasy X, as well as general feathered or angelic dragons, and fantasy races of half-human, half-dragons. Dry built on my idea and found himself looping around to Gargoylemon, which I think is pretty fitting, given the gargoyle inspiration for Vapulamon. But unfortunately, Gargoylemon is an armor or equivalent to champion level, and to me, personally, is a bit thin and spindly to make for a really cool Jogress. Dry was also inspired by Godramon, but he has the opposite problem, being one stage too high as a mega. But taking these two as inspiration and folding holding in my Dragon Man and Bahamut suggestions, Rai finally came to create Bahamumon. This came out so well, I think. Really feeling like it could fit into the Digivolution lines of All Force Vigramon or Seraphimon, but also feeling like an amazing blend of Angemon and XVmon. The cool blues and draconic helmet really selling that connection to XVmon, but the angelic aesthetic and flowing blonde hair being true to Angemon. And of course, that long blonde hair and those four wings are a huge homage to Davis's silly idea for Ultra. Angemon. I chose the name Bahamumon, of course, because of the Final Fantasy Bahamut, but actually the Bahamut of real world mythology also has a ton about it that makes sense for this. But said sea monster carries a bull named Kibithan on its back, and in turn, the beast Kibithan carries an angel which supports the structure of the world. Kind of like an inverse atlas, I guess. Combining a beast, a serpent, and an angel does kind of describe this Jogress in a way. Plus, it being a creature of mythology combined with that definitely lends itself to 
becoming a holy Digimon. I had so much faith for this particular Jogress, and I think dried the liver tenfold. I can't imagine a much more perfect DNA digivolution of these two. The only thing I might like to see is if we flip the script and made it quadrupedal instead, more matching Imperialdramon Dragon Mode, just for fun. But ah, look at this guy, I love Bahamumon. So those are the three Jogresses or DNA digivolutions that myself and the three amazing artists came up with. Please do go follow HLR and Capney on Twitter, Dry does not have Twitter, but you can join my Discord if you want to talk to Dry and see more works from him. And please do like this video, subscribe and comment down below if you'd like to see me do more things like this, original art coming up with new digivolutions and jogresses, etc. And if you're wondering about frontier swaps, don't worry, stay tuned for April where I am dedicating an entire month to Frontier's 20th anniversary. I've got some really cool videos coming up. Yes, one of them is Legendary Skies, please stop asking. <laughs> and thank you to my wonderful sovereign ZDK14 for supporting this channel as well as everyone else you can see on screen right now. You can also click the link below me to check out a video that YouTube knows you will love from my channel and I will see you next time when we go digital. Bye bye.